Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here, and today we have a fun video for you. We're calling this one From Kick Drums to Conference Rooms, seven of the best boundary mics compared. Boundary mics are very cool. They have been used in recording studios for ages and they're great for all kinds of things. Here in the video studio today, we're gonna concentrate on a typical use of boundary mics and that's on the drums. Boundary mics are great in the conference room as well. And after I get done showing these mics on the drum kit, we're gonna to switch to another room and use these mics in a conference setting. In the video today, we're gonna to be looking at the Shure Beta 91A, the Bayer Dynamic TG D71, the Audio Technica Pro 44, the Crown PCC 160. Here we have the Shure MX391. Next is the SE Electronics BL8. And last but not least, the Sennheiser E901. So what is a boundary mic? They are omnidirectional or cardioid condenser mic capsules typically mounted in a flat plate or housing. And as you can tell by all the different shapes and sizes of these mics, they all look quite different, but all work relatively the same. They are multi-purpose microphones, great in the recording studio, conference rooms, and I've even read that they're used in hockey arenas in the boards that surround the ice so you can hear the body checks. I love that, from music to sports. Boundary mics have been around since 1980. The flat surface is ideal because the boundary mic is made specifically to pick up the sound that is reflected off the surface that it's on. And that's why they're designed that way. You can mount them on anything flat. Typical way to use a boundary microphone is on a kick drum of a drum kit, and that's what I'm gonna be going through today. But boundary mics are great for all kinds of percussion instruments, like cajones. They're great on pianos as well. They're also great at picking up the ambience in the room, so don't be afraid to mount one or two of them on the walls of your recording studio and see what you get. Maybe place one on the floor in front of a guitar cabinet. Don't be afraid to try them all over the place inside your studio. In the video today, you're gonna hear each of these seven microphones six different ways. The first will be the boundary mic on its own inside the kick drum. Then you'll hear the boundary microphone in combination with the rest of the mics on the drum kit. Next, you'll hear the boundary microphone in combination with the Neumann FET 47 that's on the outside of the kick drum. That is a very typical way of getting a kick drum sound in the recording studio. You get the snap and punch of the boundary microphone that's on the inside of the drum and a rounder sound from the FET 47 that's out front. Put those two sounds together and you get a really nice kick drum sound. Then you'll hear the boundary mic, the FET 47, and the rest of the drum mics all together. Next, we'll take the boundary mic and put it about a foot in front of the kick drum. And finally, we'll take the boundary mic and put it about 10 feet or so back in the room. First up is the Shure Beta 91A, a classic kick drum microphone that's tailored for low frequency sources. It comes with a half cardioid polar pattern, can handle a ton of SPL, and has a two position contour switch on the bottom of the mic. It's very durable. Let's check it out. Next up is the Bayer Dynamic TG D71. 
This mic has a half cardioid pickup pattern and can handle up to 148 dB of SPL and brings with it a ton of low end and punch for kick drums. And here it is. Next up is the Audio-Technica Pro 44. Inside this low profile mic is an incredibly thin gold vaporized diaphragm. It also has a half cardioid pickup pattern and it can handle up to 114 dB of SPL. Next is the Crown PCC 160. This is an industry standard stage floor microphone with a wide and smooth frequency response from 50 Hertz to 18 kilohertz. It has a half super cardioid polar pattern in it and can handle up to 120 dB of SPL. It also comes with a three position bass tilt switch that can help fine tune the mic's low end response.
Next up is the Shure MX391. This mic is designed for crisp and clean sound for boardrooms, schools, and houses of worship, but we're going to use it here in a music situation, as well as in the conference room later on. You can get this microphone in either cardioid, supercardioid, or omnidirectional patterns. Today, we have the omnidirectional version. Next up is the SE Electronics BL8. This microphone has a cardioid pickup pattern, a frequency response from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and it can handle up to 143 decibels of SPL. And it comes with a three position switch on the bottom of the mic to help shape the tone. Last but certainly not least is the classic Sennheiser E901. It has a half cardioid pickup pattern, can handle a whopping 154 decibels of SPL, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and a very rugged design that can handle anything you put it through.
All right, now that you've heard these microphones in a loud musical situation, let's take them into the conference room and see what these mics can do there. Well, now we've moved into one of our many conference rooms here at Sweetwater to compare these seven mics. Now we're in a pretty lively room. You're hearing this mic in the room in its natural state, so you're gonna hear a lot of reverb and a lot of ambience because that's what this room sounds like. One thing I noticed about the Pro 44, which is what you're hearing me talk through right now, it's this mic right here, and the Shure MX391, mics that aren't necessarily designed for being inside of kick drums, they had sort of a tough time while they were inside the kick drum. They're not really meant for that. But when you pulled them out of the kick drum and put them on the floor like right in front of the kick drum and coupled it with the FET 47, these mics sounded pretty darn good. And then when you put them out into the room as the ambience mic, I thought they sounded really, really good. While the mics like the Beta 91, the BL8, the E901, and the TGD71 have no problem at all inside the kick drum, they give you that crisp and clean and punchy kick drum sound you want with a lot of low end as well. But you pull those mics out and use them as the ambience room out in the room, they were a little bright sounding. Now you're hearing all of these mics raw right into the recorders. No EQ is added anywhere. So you're hearing in their raw state. Now, all of these mics, when you put them in a musical situation, you're probably undoubtedly gonna be putting some EQ on the mics. So the mics that have a little bit of a brighter sound out in the room, you'd probably put a low pass filter on them or just adjust a little bit of the high end and you'd be rocking. So it all just depends on your needs and what you're recording at the time. For your music situation, you might wanna have the Beta 91 or the BL8 or the E901 or the TGD71 inside your kick drum, giving you that crisp, punchy sound grab a couple of the Pro 44s or the MX 391s and put them out in the room as your room mics. And that's gonna give you a big fat sound of your drum track with a lot of ambience and a lot of crisp, clean sound. Now onto comparing these mics here in the conference room. You're gonna hear me talking to the mic, sitting right here next to it like I am with the Pro 44. And then I'm also gonna go to the back of the room and talk there like I was giving a presentation. So imagine you're in a conference room like this and some of your coworkers are at home on Zoom and they have to watch the presentations from there. The presenter has to give you a PowerPoint presentation or some sort of thing where they're showing numbers and all of that kind of stuff. And he has to talk from the back of the room and use the screen. The microphone will be here in the middle of the table, but he'll be in the back of the room. You're still gonna hear ambience in the voice. And in this room in particular, it's a pretty lively room, but the voice should be clean and clear and with enough volume. Imagine yourself as a college professor giving lectures some of those rooms are really big, amphitheater style. The college professor's down at the bottom flat part of the room giving his talk, maybe has a big chalkboard or a whiteboard to write his things and he's walking back and forth. And a lot of times in those situations, students are watching these lectures from home. So lavalier mics and wireless and all of that might not be a great situation. Boundary mics like this, you plug directly into a recorder like a Zoom recorder or right into the camera and the professor can give his lecture. Everybody can hear it nice and clean and there's not a lot of plugging in of extra gear. These mics are also great for speakers on podiums, for altars of churches when the priest or the pastor is giving a sermon up on, on the stage and he has to walk back and forth. These can be perfect for that situation as well. So with all that being said, it's time to compare these seven mics. And what I'm gonna do is just read some specs that I got for each of these mics directly off of the Sweetwater website. Figured you might wanna hear some specs about the mic rather than me just jabbering about all kinds of nonsense. With that being said, let's go. The first mic you're hearing me talk through today is the Audio-Technica Pro 44. It's a low profile mic with minimum visibility. It's got a wide range condenser element with low mass diaphragm for superior performance and a frequency response of 70 Hertz to 16 kilohertz. From the back of the room, you're hearing the Audio-Technica Pro 44. This is a low profile mic for minimum visibility. It has a wide range condenser element with low mass diaphragm for superior performance and a frequency response of 70 hertz to 16 kilohertz. The next mic you're hearing me talk through is the Shure MX391, a wired boundary microphone with omnidirectional condenser cartridge. Crisp, uncolored sound ensures a speaker is heard, like me. It has a sleek and unobtrusive visual design and a frequency response of 50 hertz to 17 kilohertz. Now I'm in the back of the room and you're hearing me talk through the Shure MX391. This wired boundary microphone with omnidirectional condenser cartridge gives you crisp, uncolored sound and ensures a speaker is heard. Its sleek and unobtrusive visual design has a frequency response of 50 hertz to 17 kilohertz. The next mic I'm talking through is the Biodynamic TG D71. 
Great for micing kick drum, cajon, piano. It has huge low end, low distortion. The internal preamp handles 148 decibels of SPLs. Has a half cardioid pickup pattern, rejects feedback and off axis noise, and a frequency response of 25 hertz to 20 kilohertz. From the back of the room, you're hearing the Biodynamic TG D71. Great for micing kick drum, cajon, piano. It has huge low end. The internal preamp handles 148 decibels of SPL. A half cardioid pickup pattern rejects feedback and off axis noise and a frequency response of 25 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The next mic on our list is the Sennheiser E901. Ruggedly constructed with a slip free rubber pad underneath. Great for conference tables like this one, podiums, altars, theatrical stages, pianos, and of course, kick drums. It has a gold plated XLR connector and a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Talking from the back of the room. You're hearing the Sennheiser E901 from back in the room here. It's ruggedly constructed with a slip free rubber pad underneath. Great for conference tables, podiums, altars, theatrical stages, pianos, and kick drums. It's got a gold plated XLR connector and a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Next on our list is the SE Electronics BL8. This features the one half inch true condenser SE8 capsule. Bulletproof, built like a tank and ready for the road. It's got a switchable EQ, attenuation pad, and low cut filter right on the mic, and also incredible dynamic range. From the back of the room, you're listening to the SE Electronics BL8, featuring the half inch true condenser SE8 capsule. It's bulletproof, built like a tank, and ready for the road. It's got a switchable EQ, attenuation pad, and low cut filter. It also has incredible dynamic range. Next on our list is the Shure Beta 91A, boundary condenser microphone for low frequency sources. The two position contour switch filters your low frequency response for added clarity and attack. The integrated preamp and XLR connector reduce stage clutter and ensure quick, secure setup. Its frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. From the back of the room, you're hearing the Shure Beta 91A. This boundary condenser microphone for low frequency sources. It's two position contour switch filters your low frequency response for added clarity and attack. It has an integrated preamp and XLR connector to reduce the stage clutter and ensure quick and secure setup. Its frequency response is 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. The mic you're hearing me talk through right now is the Crown PCC 160. This is an industry standard stage floor microphone. Tackles up to 120 SPL without breaking a sweat. It has a three position bass tilt switch, which fine tunes the mic's low end response for any source or application. The electric condenser capsule provides a wide, smooth frequency response from 50 Hertz to 18 kilohertz. The mic you're hearing me talk through in the back of the room is the Crown PCC 160, and we switched the mic to turn the main capsule towards me in the back of the room. This is an industry standard stage floor microphone. It tackles up to 120 SPL without breaking a sweat. The three position bass tilt switch fine tunes the mic's low end response for any source or application. And there you go, seven fantastic boundary microphones. Were you able to hear some difference? Did you come away with any favorites? I like doing these kinds of comparisons and I hoped it helped you learn a bit about what these mics can do. Boundary microphones have many uses and it would be a great addition to your microphone collection. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video, everybody. I'm Nick DiVirgilio, and I'll see you again soon.